Oh snap, this might be so fun. We got this. Saw you walking by today With the sunset in your eye I couldn't find the strength to say What was running through my mind You couldn't help but notice me Staring with that awkward smile So um, January conference, I, um, I had a, uh, this guy in my church who was really strong-willed to find me a wife. And I told him, like, dude, honestly, I'm good, you know, I'll, when she comes, she'll come, right? I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not searching. So I went to January conference by myself, and I had a friend, this is Wednesday during the day, <laughs> I locked my keys in my rental. And it was just like a very stressful day. And that night, my the same friend that was with me during the whole thing, she's like, come fellowship with me, come fellowship with us. And I was just like, no, no. <clears throat> anyway, she convinced me. I was like, just send me the address. She never sent the address, but some of my other friends were going to a fellowship. So I was like, okay, I'll just follow you guys there. Thinking that it was the same fellowship. Totally wasn't. Just minding my business and then Sharon walks in. So, but I, um, I walked into the house and I looked to the left and like the first person I saw was Yanni. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe it is people that I know. Like maybe it's my friend. So I said, hi, you know. And I was just like, well, like, wow. You know, it's, it, you know, like she, she was beautiful. <laughs> you know, not really remembering my childhood here. She was like, yeah, I, I know you. I'm like, uh, from where? <laughs> where exactly do you know me from? So ended up being, we grew up in church together. Yeah, the rest is history from there. That's all I'll say because I, I didn't think that he was interested more because when we grew up together, he wasn't interested either, so. We, you know, our parents hung out as, uh, as you know, as churchgoers. I think after that initial conversation, like Friday, I was like, I definitely want to get to know this Yanni because all I remember is the one from oh, yeah. <laughs> from the swimming pool, from riding bikes, from playing in the front yard, you know? Yeah, so I was like, oh, I, I just, I'm really interested in being his friend because we had, I mean, I thought we had Bond as kids, like, you know that innocence that was there. So it's like, oh, I wonder what he's like now as an adult. Well, I was a little discouraged, not gonna lie, just because he didn't remember me at all. So I was kind of like, oh, this is like gonna be like talking to a stranger. Um, but I kind of, I don't know. He, he warmed up and then when he became more himself, I was like, oh, okay, this is the Yachty I remember, but just saved and older. So at first he was very dry and very, he talked like very low and, demure and now that I know him I know he was like super nervous but at first I was like I don't know if this guy is a, <laughs> this guy's kind of strange <laughs> right I was not looking in any way for no girl I wasn't looking pursuing nothing in that in that arena and when she walked in I was just like I looked at my buddy Jeremy I'm like I found the one. <laughs> uh, when I just realized I could be goofy with him and he was just as silly and crazy as me, it I was like, okay, I could I could see this going far because I didn't I didn't really want the serious guy all, you know. Yeah, be myself with. I didn't think anything of it. I just said hi, went about my fellowship and left and yeah from from that it was a wednesday night of conference so then i made a decision i'm like i was asking everybody i was like who's her pastor who's her pastor uh knowing that it's you know her dad but also suspansky so i ended up approaching uh suspansky uh that thursday and you know i got his 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 blessing he's like yeah she's a really good girl you know yeah i i think it'd be good friday i talked to my pastor it's like hey some guy is asking about me from the Utah church, like, can you do some research on him? Cause you know, he's a little bit older and pastor was like, is this the guy from uh, from New York? And I was like, no, the, the one from, from Utah. And he's like, you know, somebody's already inquired about you, right? And I was like, no. <laughs> 
And he's like, yeah, some guy from uh, some guy from Rochester. And I was like, Yanni? Because that's literally the only person I knew from that church. And he was like, yeah. And I was so shocked because when I met him that Wednesday night, he, I didn't get I didn't get that vibe, you know? I was just like, okay, well, good to see you too, even though you don't know me. But um, yeah, so my pastor was like, uh, okay, if you want, but somebody's already asked about you. So I kind of was like, all right, good to know. So then uh, Friday, I was on a mission. I was like, where is Sharon Rose? I told everyone, because I literally, I was like, I was searching for her. So that Friday night, uh, my friends, uh, who normally I, I sit with the same girls, <clears throat> they were like, hey, there was a bunch of people looking for you. And I'm like, I'm kind of freaking out because like I said, I went by myself. So I wasn't, you know, I was pretty much a, a loner, a lone ranger by myself the whole week. When they said people were looking for me, I was like, oh gosh. Like, I was kind of like, what did I do, you know? <laughs> like, oh, who did I offend this time? No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, so then, one of the girls from the Rochester church asked me where I was going and I kind of like reluctantly told her, kind of reluctantly gave her my number and we ended up being at the same fellowship. So Friday night was the only opportunity to pursue Sharon. Because in New York you had to do this whole COVID thing or whatever, so I wasn't there in the morning. You know, we ended up finding her and we ended up going to another fellowship. As soon as I walked into that fellowship, all the guys from his church were at the front door and they like turned and looked at me and I was just like, Hi. Hi guys. <laughs> so yeah, then we had a, we had a pretty good conversation. It honestly, it clicked from there. You know, I knew, cause you know, in the whole of pursuing her, I'm like, hey, so, um, are, do you see anyone? She's like, no. I was like, well, do you like anyone? <laughs> like, beating around the bush. And uh, I kind of, <laughs> kind of threw off. She was like, are you just gonna ask for my number already? Like, come on, She's like, stop beating around the bush. And I was like, uh, was like, no, no, I was gonna ask for your dad's number. Um, <laughs> so can I have <laughs> your dad's number? I wanted to talk to her dad, get his blessing before I pursued her. And I was like, okay, I can work with this. I think the thing that stuck out to me was that he asked for my dad's number, which no guy's ever done that. And so I was like, okay, that's a really, in my opinion, because I'm so close to my dad, I was like, that's a very good trait respect wise I was like, mm -hmm, okay that's different <clears throat> the best way to describe it is 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 i am um i am the princess and i have all these walls around me so my dad my pastor my brother my brother and um i always wanted somebody to kind of not break down the walls but just overcome the walls because my father's quite intimidating. <laughs> so is my pastor, so is my little brother, and so is my older brother. So there's always been with the guys who have pursued me, it, I haven't talked to that many guys, but the guys who would pursue me, they always kind of, they always kind of miss one. And so I, it, I just never felt, I, felt, I never felt like I could like give my heart fully to someone until those walls were, you know, secure i want to say so you got the keys i'm gonna give you the card wow. so you <laughs> um so in january i saw you know a little bit my pastor saying oh you know somebody's already in, you know i kind of saw my pastor's approval of him as a man so i was like okay and that kind of gave me confidence and then <clears throat> my dad's approval kind of came a little bit later more at march conference when he got to spend a little more a little time with him in person so i i felt very good about that jeremiah um jeremiah jeremiah loves anybody in a suit and tie and look sharp so jeremiah seemed to really like yanni as well um and then after conference yanni got isaac's approval i wrote down the time I'm pretty sure it's on March 18th <laughs> at 1.59 uh, p.m. Isaac gave me his approval. Uh, he got he got a fist bump, and uh, Isaac is very close to me. Like that's. Yeah, yeah. But he also shot me up. So <laughs> he took him out to a paintball <laughs> field and shot him up, and got his respect. And so you know, for me, however it happened, <laughs> but I just felt very very confident. And so for me, that was what was important to me. I know some girls, they want their pastor to be like the main person to 
approve of the relationship or something. But I wanted all of the men in my life to be like, all right, this this is you you know, we trust this guy. So that was very important. And no no other guy has done that. No other guy has asked me for my dad's number. So and you know, sought out and everything. My dad and I are so close. That was very, very important to me. And then the other thing that kind of made me like think about it was he I asked him, I said, Oh, what are you called to? Cause I have talk to other guys who are just interested in being pastors. I want to be a pastor. I want to be a pastor, 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 but they don't really know what goes into it. And being that I'm a pastor's daughter, I was like, I just, I don't want somebody who's just chasing that label. <clears throat> so I asked him, I was like, you know, what are you called to? And he said that he's called to obey. And so whatever that looked like, like he just wanted to obey God. And so that was like instant. I was like, okay, I can work with somebody like that. Like I can, I, I agree. That's a really good mindset to have and so that's when I, I called my dad I was like dad if this guy calls you know tell him yeah <laughs> so yeah the rest is history uh and yeah so I basically that Saturday um, reached out to her father and um got his blessing and he sent me her number and from there started growing and building a relationship Ooh, how I feel. Um, <laughs> honestly, I feel at home. I do. I When I moved to Chicago, I, I learned that home is people. You know, it's not really a place. So um, throughout our friendship, you know, everything was kind of built on trial and error. <laughs> and so I remember one day, it was like a stressful day where it came came home and I started talking to him I was like wow when I talk to you I feel like I'm at home like I feel very peaceful um and so I kind of just I always come back to that like when we're going through stuff I'm like you know what this is my best friend this is my home I feel I feel like I am at total peace when I'm she's never even said that to me <laughs> yes I have yes center <laughs> best way that I can describe it as what happens when you focus a camera on a, on a certain image, right? Everything around it. That's how I feel. I feel that like she is the the thing that I'm focused on, aside from God. <laughs> Obviously, aside from God, that's most important. But when I'm with Sharon, it feels like it's it's me and her, right? And it's like we can do anything. Or yeah. We can we can follow the will of God. We can we can go eat ice cream, <laughs> whatever it may be, right? I just. It, it's it's like a I feel as though it's like when I'm with her, she's the only person in the world. She's the only one that I want to focus on. We say it all the time. Every time we see each other, it's like uh, it's like we we fall in love again, yeah. you know. And it's like it's just it's like, I, and every time I do see her, it's like I can spend my life with you, you know. Uh, regardless of where God has us, let's just serve Him and and be together. I told myself, actually, if you want me to be honest, I told myself I would never fall in love again. Never. It's like, just not for me. Yeah. Simple. <laughs> You've been single my whole life. Yep, exactly. Oh, God. Absolutely. Absolutely. to the rapture. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. But then Sharon Rose came in my life and I was just like, well, you know, <laughs> I'll reconsider it. <laughs> I appreciate all that you guys are. As a family, I appreciate your blessing. I appreciate your approval. I appreciate you for being so sweet and um, welcoming me as a as a, a, a spouse. So, um, with that being said, of uh, Sharon Rose, I, uh, I, I, I was it playing when I said I wanted to marry you. So, uh, will you? Ha <laughs> ha.
how you feel, Pop. <laughs> I get my <laughs> Let go 